your life now. I'm gonna go into the prayer. Father God, we come before you, Lord, and I'm asking, Lord, that these people receive the message with joy. And if they receive it with joy tonight, Father God, don't let the devil steal their joy. In Jesus' name, Lord, I'm praying, Lord, that whatever I wanted to say, I throw it out, Father God. But I'm welcoming your Holy Spirit to speak through me, Father God. I swallow my words, Father God. In Jesus' name, Lord, have your way tonight and bless the people. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, guys. This is the message tonight. James chapter 2 verse 14 14 faith without good deeds is dead I can end the message there I could stop the message right there faith without good deeds is dead verse 14 what good is it dear brothers and sisters if you say you have faith but don't show it by your actions can that kind of faith save anyone? Suppose you see a brother or sister who has no food or clothing, and you say goodbye and have a good day. Stay warm and eat well, but then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? So you see, faith by itself isn't enough unless it produces good deeds. It is dead and useless. Now someone may argue, some people have faith, others have good deeds, but I say, how can you show me your faith if you don't have good deeds? I will show you my faith by my good deeds. You say you have faith for you believe that there is one God good for you. Even the demons believe this and they tremble in terror. How foolish can't you see that faith without good deeds is useless? Don't you remember that our ancestor Abraham was shown to be made right with God by his actions when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? You see, his faith and his actions worked together. His actions made his faith complete. And so it happened, just as the scriptures say, Abraham believed God and God counted him as righteous because of his faith. He even called the friend of God. So you see, we are shown to be made right with God by what we do, not by faith alone. Uh... Excuse me, guys, but this is what the Bible says, and I have to repeat every word. Rahad the prostitute is another example. She was shown to be right with God by her actions when she hid those messengers and sent them safely away by a different road. Just as the body is dead without bread, so also faith is dead without good works. So, guys, this is the message tonight, and I want you to pay attention, and I want you to apply it. Your faith is useless. And your faith is going nowhere. Now, some may fight this conversation. Well, I don't believe that good works is going to get me saved. I don't believe... Oh, I believe that if I do good, I'm going to see the kingdom of heaven. God bless you, Fatima. I believe that. Well, that's wrong because the Bible specifically says that you, will, you don't receive salvation by the good that you do or feeding the poor or giving clothes to these people. But your faith is dead unless you do. So you can have faith. Lord, he's, he's going to put food on this table right now. Lord, you're going to move that mouth. But without you working for it, without you doing and striving ahead of it, your faith is useless. Paul even talks about it. Fight the good fight and you don't shadow box and win, run the race and try to win. And in the end, you will win the race. You got to strive. The Bible says specifically in a passage, strive to enter through the narrow gate. An athlete needs to work hard and sweat his brow in order to get that fit body, in order to win, in order to be the best at what he does, at being LeBron James, for example. To be at his level, you must train and you must dedicate and you must be very, very passionate about what you do. And don't give up. LeBron James could give up. He could. He could have stopped. Michael Jordan could have stopped, but they didn't stop. They kept striving and they kept fighting for it and they kept waiting and seeking and because they know what lied ahead. They believe and you must love it. They loved basketball, so they might have never won a championship, 
but they did. Because they didn't stop. Because they didn't stop running that race and going through that trial and believing that they will receive. <sighs> Tonight you need to apply these things to your life. Love what you do. Take compassion and take heart in what you do. Have compassion, great, great love over what you do for God. You must not say, the Lord will provide today, but sit down and watch TV. Because you're not going to get nothing. God don't work that way. Like I said the other night, if there's one thing we learn, you're worshiping the wrong God. Only the devil works that way. You must strive. You must love him. You must work. See, the Bible teaches us that we could move any mountain. But it only comes through prayer and fasting. You gotta work the fast. You gotta strive for it. In the end, you will receive it all. I'm asking you tonight. And I'm praying in Jesus' name that you show your good works. If you see someone poor on the street, if you see someone that's Mila, don't say have good and just have faith or believe. You're not showing your good deeds. Now it won't get you saved by doing good. But it's just the Holy Spirit. Pray that the Holy Spirit will make you want to do good. Because it only comes from God. I'm praying in Jesus' name that you're accepted. Give someone that quote that you might have. Give someone. Show the love. If there's one thing we've learned to wash the disciples here. Wash the believers' feet. Love one another. I thank God for you. And this is what I say. <sighs> this isn't just a message. This is something that you need to apply. And everything I've been teaching you is something that you need to apply. Show your good works. Show that you have faith by doing good. Because if you don't do good and just have faith, your faith is useless. You must pray, you must fast, you must love one another. You must give the needy clothes, you must feed the poor, you must do whatever you could to show your good work. Do whatever you could to show. The Bible says, let your light shine forth before man so they may see your good works and the glory of your Father who is in heaven. You must love them. If someone asks for your shirt, give them your jacket too. Amen. I believe that that is the love of God is making you do that. And if you don't feel that you want to do it, then guess what? Don't do it. But tonight, I want you to pray that you will want to do it. That God will put it in your heart as a cop. Me like, I have to give him something. Guys, whenever I go to the wall, I'm not bullshit, but every time I, when I, when I see it, when I really got it from my heart, I put a little change in it for the little kids. You know, I don't eat. I feel bad. My father asked me one time, but I was real young. I donated $20 to the thing when I was five, six. No, we're all new level. Nothing I gotta do, man. It's new for the little kids. Car. So he asked me in the car, what if they don't really donate it? What if they don't really give it, to, uh, give it to the children that are poor? May God knows. God knows that we tried. God knows in our heart that we wanted to give. That's all. Tonight, let it be in your heart. Tonight, give your lives to God. Do it out of love. Don't do anything with body mods on. Mila, feel bad. Show your good works. Your faith is useless. You must strive. You must work. You must sweat your brow. And only with God's help, we're not alone with you. Tonight, Father God, we're asking that don't touch us. Tonight, 
tonight, Lord, that you'll put it upon our hearts to give to the needy, Father God. Help us, Father God, to show our good works, because without good works, faith is useless. In Jesus' name, amen. Keep striving, keep giving, don't stop, be good to others. If you have that bread, if you have something, a pair of clothes or whatever it is, And I believe tonight that the Lord put it upon your heart. Tonight the message was to apply. The Lord's going to touch you again. And put it upon your hearts. To love one another. To have the same compassion that he had on the 5,000. 5,000 people were hungry. But he fed them. You're going to have the same thing. You'll have the same heart. You'll feel the same Mila. I love you, and I thank God for you. Tomorrow night, come on and be blessed by God. Tomorrow night, you don't want to miss the message. I love you, and I thank God for you.